Is that her hair? She said she was blessed and she gave her a locket of her own hair. I need a taxi and I need the, like an industrial strength morning after pill. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nick. If this is your first time here, how's it going? If this is not your first time here, oh, welcome back. All right, you guys. So we have another demon movie this week. We are going to be watching technically what is one of three demonic possession movies that was in theaters at the same time. We had Late Night with the Devil. We had The First Omen. And for today's video, we are going to be watching 2024's Immaculate. All three of those movies are gonna be reacted to here on the channel. So we've already done Late Night with the Devil, and that was a movie. <laughs> and at the time of recording this reaction, the first omen is not out yet. I will 100% be reacting to that. I have heard tons of good things. Now, as we've established, my tastes generally don't always fall in line with other people's tastes. I like to just sort of sit back and watch the movie on my own and create my own thoughts on it. But I have heard both good things about Immaculate and the first omen so i'm curious to see how those are going to compare but obviously we have to watch both of those first so for today we are going to be watching immaculate i know it's a movie about demonic possession and i know it's a movie that stars sydney sweeney that's the extent of my knowledge now i do like me some sydney sweeney I and mean, she's unhinged in euphoria but not that i don't think that sydney sweeney is a decent actress or anything like that but i saw something on reddit the other day and it was just somebody you know being rude and they were like oh my god sydney sweeney can't act oh, blah, blah 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 but then a lot of the comments were like oh okay well, why don't you watch Immaculate? Watch Immaculate and then tell me that she can't act. I don't know if that <laughs> actually means that she's going to give some like crazy awesome performance or she just acts really, really scared. I don't know because I haven't really seen Sydney Sweeney in a horror movie. I don't think. Think. Well, I mean, unless you count Madam Web. I think it would be really, really cool if you hit the like button and you left a comment and maybe even subscribe because that would totally help me out with the algorithm and I'd appreciate it. And if you're like, you know what? I really like that guy's shirt and the shadow is kind of giving the illusion that he has breasts, then you should follow me on Instagram and Twitter slash X. And if you're interested in seeing more content from me, more reactions, audio commentaries, pictures of my cat, stuff like that, you should check out my Patreon. You look down below in the description for the link. You'll be able to see everything that I've reacted to over there. You should check it out. So without further ado, let's get into Immaculate. Uh, that's, uh, oh, 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 she was, she was, uh, White Lotus. She was like a sex worker. I liked her. An escort? I don't know what the term is. You know, you know what I mean. Either way, get that money, honey. Uh, I can't stand like creaking floors. I don't understand how people live like that. Hey, Jesus! Okay, so she's trying to escape wherever she is. I mean, if Valak was any indication, nuns are scary. <laughs> I mean, the nun, like the movie itself was not scary. It was really bad. But in general, the imagery of nuns are scary to me. I mean, if that's what you gotta do to get the f out of there. Oh no. Oh, oh, so we are not dealing with our normal nun. Oh, they're, f they're burying her alive. A nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Like, I would never want to be buried alive. I would never want to drown in the ocean. I have insanity. <laughs> oh my God, her leg is so fucked up, it's turned a different color. I ask if you're learning Italian. I'm trying, but it's a lot harder than I thought. I mean, I feel like learning any other language other than your native language is pretty hard in general. You're very young to be a nun. It's a different life, yeah? Must have been a hard decision. So she went from the US to Italy to become a nun? Maybe I should become a nun. Ugh, why not? at this point. It's really, really pretty. The colors are very muted. No, I feel like normally when I see Italy, it's very like vibrant and lots of like reds and oranges and stuff like that. I mean, it's probably just for like movies and TV shows and stuff, but this is looking very dreary. Was that, okay, wait, okay. So yeah, this is the place that homegirl got her leg broken at. Wow. I mean, it's certainly beautiful in there. That's for sure. I'm Sister Cecilia. 
Isabel. Why are you being a bitch already? <laughs> Our Lady of Sorrows was founded in 1632 as a refuge for elder sisters before their transition to heaven. So it's a nun hospice? It was built on the catacomb of St. Stephen. Catacombs? It's off limits. Oh, well, you know that we're gonna end up at the catacombs at some point. That's exciting. I wanted to go to the catacombs in Paris so bad. It's best to just play along with their delusions, unless they get violent. Be careful of this one, she bites. She better not. She's gonna be a problem, this one, because she's just got stank face, and I don't like it. This room is yours. I mean, the bed is the size of a toothpick, but the room is fairly large. Oh, ciao. Ciao? She's sitting there taking a piss. Yeah, my, my parish closed. Did the priest get in trouble? Nothing, nothing like that. Not her thinking, oh, your parish closed? That means your priest must have been diddling somebody. <laughs> Cody. I think that maybe we are all head cases or runaways. Which one are you? Head case? It's giving head case. Yeah, I don't know about becoming a nun. It seems like the, like the fabric probably isn't breathable and, and I just feel like you get hot all the time. And I feel like they probably have like, a, you know, like a commandment number 10 is God doesn't approve of air conditioning or something like that. I don't know, no, 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 not for me, not for me. Yeah, see, like that's creepy. <laughs> that is not welcoming or anything like that. Rallegriamoci. He's given her the freaky eye. The marriage of the lamb has come, and his brides have made themselves ready. Yeah, it's given like Chester the molester. I don't know about that. May God give you the strength to fulfill your vows faithfully. I don't know. Like she's looking at it like, don't do that. May you shine his light for the world to see. Also, what? I mean, I'm not religious. What's the whole kissing of the ring thing? What is that supposed to represent? It seems unsanitary. There was this part of the Sagna River that would always freeze over. And I would do this thing where I took my gloves off. I would place my hands right on the ice and, and I would hold them there until I couldn't feel anything. Why? I don't remember the ice breaking. <laughs> Uh, well, bitch, that's what you get for walking out on a frozen lake. Why the hell would you do that? I know God saved me for a reason, but I guess I'm still searching for what that reason is. Euphoria season three. Uh -uh, what is that? See, this is why I wear headphones all the time. I, I don't need to hear ghostly crying and, you know, look in the music room. I don't care. Uh-uh. Ciao. 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 This is a cool shot. Now, despite the fact that I'm not religious, one thing that I really do love is big Catholic churches. Like, they're just stunning. The architecture, it's beautiful. Are you okay? Oh, is she dreaming? Can, she... Can you like fucking wear a bell or something? What is this place? It's a church. A sofferto sulla croce. What? That's supposed to be one of the nails that went through Jesus's hand. It's very similar to like in, uh, uh, is it the first nun where they like defeated <laughs> Valak with the blood of Christ or whatever? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been a year Thank since you. my last confession. Never told anyone this. Not my mom, not the police, not even my friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was about to ask, is like, is he asleep? Oh no, why is that happening? Where did he go? <laughs> oh no. Ooh. The imagery is cool, I'll give it that. All right, all right, all right. Good jump scare. I was expecting that it did like something to jump through the, you know, like Ben Willis did, but no. Sometimes you don't realize when they come from the back. What is that? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not! <sighs> that would have been, I would have been like, listen, send all my love, to capital, G-O-D, but I'm out, no. And if the consistency of their feces seems off, you let Dr. Gallo know. Ugh. Nun shit? <laughs> uh, no, 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 we're not watching that. Oh, with your stink ass face. She's on my nerves. Yeah, why don't you uh, dissipate and go back to the hell from which you came? 
Is that scissors? Oh no. Are they gonna cut her hair off like Helen? <laughs> Is she for real? She would've got. Oh, coming at me with a pair of shears in the middle of the night. Oh no. What year is this supposed to take place in? Cause like, do they not have electricity here? Damn, she got some big ass feet. She has crucifixes burned into the soles of her feet. What? It's not what you thought it would be, huh? This place. They have to bathe while still fully clothed. There is a boy. He hit me. I hit him back. I, as you should. Once I left him, I went to those support groups, you know. There were these nuns there. And I thought, these women have a very good life. They have a place to live, a job where they can keep their clothes on, nothing to worry about. So I signed up. I mean, so far within this movie, we have established that there is things to worry about, such as people trying to hack off your hair in the middle of the night. Oh, and don't forget sister bitch. Oh, oh my God, I was joking. Are you okay? So first she fainted and now she's vomiting. Is she pregnant? Do you faint when you're pregnant? Wait, immaculate. Isn't that what, uh, immaculate conception? Maybe she is pregnant. Duh. We're gonna have to address whoever these demonic nuns with the red faces are. Well, this seems foreboding. I swore to three vows when I got here of obedience, poverty, and chastity. Chastity, they're gonna, yeah, she's pregnant. They're gonna be like, you broke your vow. Before you arrived, do you have Congress with a man? I mean, just Nate Jacobs. Die, die, die! I've never been with a man or a woman, nobody. Do not be punished, we just want to know the truth. I'm not lying, father. I mean, this might sound like a weird question, but like, couldn't they check to see if she had had sex? Like if her, the hymen, oh, they're talking, Never mind. they're talking about it. So they just said that her hymen had never been touched. I mean, I'm sure that there's probably, you know, if Law and Order SVU means anything, like you could still get pregnant without that happening. Somehow it could bypass that, I think. Well, she is definitely with child. Well, she's with something. It's a miracle. I mean, maybe for some, <laughs> not for people who don't want kids. I'd be like, no! That is beautiful looking. Oh my God, that reminds me of the, the thing in Euphoria where she's like got all the flowers behind her. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, I'm assuming that there's gonna be some sort of an explanation as to why sister bitch is constantly giving mean stank face, but. Ugh. Ew, I didn't see that. What is that? A tooth? She had a full tooth come out of her? Is it from her mouth or did she puke it up? Now that's gonna cause a divide between her and the other nun that she was friends with. How long before they start calling you Mary? She's like, I'd rather they didn't. This was not my choice quite clearly. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, is that the, oh, oh, that's the one I don't like. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh, well, oh, you need to fight her. You need to fight her. This is it, this is it. You smack her ass down. What did she say? It was supposed to be me? I mean, you can have it, take it. We have to try again. They have to try again with me. Oh, so they like did some mojo and like put it in her. There's some witchcraft going on. Isabel has been losing her battle with mental illness for- Uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't trust him. He's in on it. I mean, granted she shouldn't have been trying to drown her ass in the tub, but blaming mental illness, uh-uh. He's the killer. Is she pregnant with Satan? I think she's pregnant with the devil. I want to see another doctor. Why, Dr. Gower? Takes care of old women. I want to go to a real hospital, please. He's a licensed obstetrician. Thursday through Saturdays, I deliver babies at Casentino. A hospital is not what you need right now. You're perfectly healthy. I would have been like, listen, motherfucker, are you with child right now? You don't get to dictate where I'm going to go and, and what medical professional I'm going to see. Take me to the goddamn hospital. Now I'm seeing why in the opening scene, that chick was trying to escape. <gasps> Ooh, I love that shot. I really like the cinematography so far in this movie. Okay, so are you going to ask somebody about that? Because you've seen them now like six times. I think it's time that we, we, we ask some people. What was that? Did someone just yeet themselves off? Is it sister bitch or is it the friend? Oh my God. Why did she look like that? What happened? Open your eyes. I don't trust this place. Okay, so it wasn't the friend. It wasn't the friend. Cecilia, you're five months pregnant and you haven't even been to a hospital. 
Okay, so we like her, which means she's probably gonna die. She senses that something is wrong here. Is something the matter? I can see you. No, me talk cara. This. That's right. I agree with her. Poor thing, she's gonna die probably, but yeah. Lash me! Lash me! Lash me! No! <sighs> See, this is why everybody needs to go to the international school of Charlie's Angels and learn to whoop some ass. But I feel like from Sydney Sweeney's point, she ha I mean, I'm sure she obviously has clues that, you know, the shit is amiss. But you've been seeing these creepy red-faced nuns. You suddenly got pregnant when you've never had sex. That chick threw herself off the tower and killed herself. They refused to allow you to go to a hospital. That other crazy bitch was trying to, like, cut off your hair in the middle of the night. Like, uh... What is this now? For Satan himself often masquerades as an angel of light. I told you it was the devil. She's probably got Damien in there. One thing that this movie has is the curse of modern day horror movies where everything is so dark. Like when I reacted to Imaginary, I had to crank all of the like night scenes of the brightness up by like 30% just so that people would be able to see it. You couldn't see anything. What was that? Well, who is it? If you're afraid, get out of there. That's right, arm yourself. That is smart. Oh, she was just using it to, to open the thing. Well, still, you should have it on your person. Tragedy averted, Cecilia Jones narrowly escapes drowning after falling through ice while we establish that she never should have been on the ice in the first place. Oh no, are they burying the friend alive? She needs to get out there and help her. Like what happened to like shun the non-believer? Why do we have to bury the non-believer? Yeah, this is quite clearly a cult. She needs to like jump in there. Cause I mean, if she's pregnant with the demon child, they're not gonna kill her. Oh my God, they're gonna cut her tongue out. Oh, well now you know for a fact that something is wrong. <laughs> Do we like her? Is she gonna help us? Is that her hair? She said she was blessed and she gave her a locket of her own hair. I need a taxi and I need the, like an industrial strength morning after pill, please. <laughs> oh, that, oh no, oh, oh, that can't be good. I don't wanna die. Unless she did something in an effort to get out of there. I'm thinking that that's what it is. <laughs> Ew, don't touch it. <laughs> Ew, 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 Stop. Have some class. It's on her fucking face, y'all. She killed a bird. Good for her. I mean, not for killing the bird, but like, you know, good for her for thinking on her feet to get the hell out of here. Oh no. She's gonna be like, she faked it. Big faker. I mean, at this point though, does she think it's a normal baby? Does she think that she's got like a demon in her? Cause at that point, like if she doesn't want the baby and she thinks it's a demon, I wouldn't care about getting the baby hurt. Like I would start fighting for my fucking life. <laughs> exactly, run. <laughs> And she's, she's booking it pretty quickly for being, uh, what, like five months pregnant? Oh, shit. Mm. I God will never forgive you. I want to smack that bitch right back, back. What did you do to me? They put the devil in you, I think. We found blood, tissue, little fragments of bone, a genetic code. All we had to do was crack it. Wait, are they trying to make another Jesus? They like pulled a Jurassic Park and took Jesus DNA from the nail and they're trying to make another one through her. Oh, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> what the f uh, Okay, now we're giving Cult of Thorn. Producer's cut. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is horrible. I left field of genetics because some people disagreed with the ethics of my experiments. Uh, as they should, because this is gross and disgusting and wrong, what you're doing, you fucking psychopath. Playing God. I am not playing God. That's literally what you're doing, you dumb dumb. Ugh, I hope she gets out of there and fucks him up, because he is disgusting. What's, what's going on? Oh no, they're gonna do that to the bottom of her feet. That's what happened to the other lady. No, 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 stop. And then this one, he looks like a mad scientist. 
Ugh. Ugh, poor Sydney Sweeney. Poor Sydney Sweeney. Things were a lot better for you when you were with Glenn Powell. <laughs> Like, what does she do? What does she do? She's like halfway along with the demonic dino DNA Jesus baby. They f***ing branded her feet. Third, uh, that means she's been there for quite a long time. How long have you been targeting me? Was it since the accident? What would the accident have to do with why they would have targeted her though? That's what Revelation says, right? Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just casually pulling off your fucking fingernail. If this is not the will of God, why does God not stop us? Because how often does that actually happen? Within these sorts of like religious, demonic, cult, possession, demon movies. Oh, why didn't God intervene? Cause he never intervenes in these movies. The only one that's ever running rampant is, is evil. Ugh, that's the devil. That ain't, that ain't your genetic Jesus. That's the devil. Is she gonna try to escape? Just mutilate her white ass and leave. Get her again. Get him for me. Ah. And I won't feel bad at all, bitch. I'd be like, if this is God's work, why isn't he stopping me? What bam I'm gonna get her again. I'm putting demon babies in me. <laughs> I mean, she's really fucking her up, but damn. I mean, I ain't mad at you. You had to do what you had to do. You might try to get the baby out of you now. <laughs> like, I don't know if you're going to make it out of here. And her water just broke. Unholy amniotic fluid, y'all. That's right. That's right. Use the strength of baby Jesus, I guess. I don't know, or baby Damien, whatever you got in you. Holy shit, I mean. <laughs> she's like really going at him too. Oh my God. You're next, motherfucker. Come on, I got something for that ass. She's gonna go and kill everybody with the nail? <laughs> Ethanol. Oh, uh, well. Oh, but she's getting it all over her dress. Well, she might be trying to, uh, maybe the plan is to take herself out as well. I don't know. Cecilia, these won't solve anything. Yeah, well. I'll be like, oh, well, it's an inconvenience to you. And if that's all I'm able to do, then that's all I'm able to do. Damn it, damn it. Stab him with that shit. What happened to the, the nail? You have the nail. Well, you already lost a chunk of your hair. It's fine if you lose another one. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's giving me what I need right now. Yep, 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 yep. There you go. Light his ass up. Oh, does it hurt? Does the burning hurt? You know what? There's a word for people like you. Loser. Okay, that's, that's what, the third one down? You've destroyed three, you need to get up and get the fuck out of here. Get up! You need to find a coat hanger and the front door. Let's go. Oh no, he found a fire extinguisher. Oh, balls, he's still alive. What happened to the nail though that she grabbed? Why isn't she shanking him with it? Where's this? Oh, the catacombs. I forgot about the catacombs. I mean, at this point, do you have any other options? I don't think so. I mean, like, I get that she's like, you know, in labor, but like, she needs to, shh, cause he's gonna hear you. Cecilia. You need to hit him with the flashlight. What was that? What am I looking at? Oh, that's her friend. The one that got her tongue ripped out or cut off or whatever. I think, yeah, that's her. It's giving salvation and I don't think it's that easy. It's a trap, I feel, or something. He's gonna pop up behind her. 
There ain't no way. There ain't no way that she's gonna get through this. He's gonna pull her back or something. Yep, there it is. Shit. Oh, Freddy Krueger looking ass. If you got that nail thing, now is the time. Holy Mary. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What happened to the nail? Did she drop it? Well, bitch, if you had it all the time, why are you waiting? Okay, well, better late than never. Well, may he never, ever rest in peace. Rest in piss. That's right. But, so, like, what does she do now? Where does she go? <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for her that she's seemingly made it out alive, but, like, what about this damn baby? Six hours later. Jesus. <laughs> Ugh. It's too much. What is it? What is it? Watch them not show it. Uh. That is fucking nasty. Like, it sounds a little weird. Is it? Is it a demon? Are we just going to leave it? Like, I, I wouldn't want it. Oh, she's gonna smush it. I feel like they're gonna stop her right beforehand. I feel like this is gonna have a dark ending because she's alerted them of her presence by all the screaming. They're gonna like shoot her or something. Oh, let's show, okay. I mean, I think we've established that that was a demon baby. So good job, Sydney Sweeney, you made it out. All right, y'all. I really, really liked that movie. I thought that was really, really good. To get the minor criticisms out of the way, there was a couple scenes that were too dark, visually, not subject matter wise. I know that that's just like a thing with modern movies. It's been an ongoing issue. I mean, granted, I have a light behind my monitor, so that sometimes can make it a little bit darker, but like I cranked up the brightness and there were still some scenes where I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be seeing something or not. But putting that aside, I really liked this. I thought Sydney Sweeney gave a fantastic performance. So the thing that I said in the beginning of the video where people were like questioning her acting ability and they were like, watch Immaculate, agree. Because she sold this shit so good. It had a couple little jump scares, but in general, it had a very unsettling feeling throughout it. I thought that it was a, maybe not a brand new type of story, but a, it was a, a decent modern day spin on it, I guess you could say. I'm glad that all the bitches that I wanted to get got, 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 and they got, got, good. You know, it's like one of those things when you're watching a scary movie and you're like, oh my god, I hate this character. I hope they get it and I hope they get it good. They got it good. Happy about that. I really like this. Let me know what you guys thought about Immaculate down in the comments and I will see you for whatever the next one is.